guys bonjour welcome to my channel guys and thanks for being here we've been touring um, Europe and this is our second destination uh, check out the first of my uh, travel chronicles which was in London I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out but yeah we're so excited to be in Paris the city of love So the next day we were up early and ready but guess what it was pouring i mean raining cats and dogs not a fun day to be out but this mama came prepared with ponchos that i had ordered from amazon so we were ready to brace the elements and um yeah but because of all that rain i wasn't able to film a lot like climbing up the stairs and what have you um but you know still able to capture a few things so we couldn't get tickets to ride the elevator to the second floor of the summit. Um, all the tickets were sold out. So if you want to ride the elevator to any of the floors, make sure to buy them your tickets at least six months prior to your trip. So um, we had to walk almost all 600 and something steps to the second floor, which was no joke. It was really, really tasking. Um, but we did meet some wonderful Americans that were from Boston and they had three free tickets to the summit, which was so gracious and kind of them to offer that to my family for free and so um half of my family were able to make it to the summit and they said the view from there was really spectacular and um, that was a huge blessing in and of itself so i'm so thankful for that but this view was from the second floor and um, just lovely so really appreciate that and thankful our next part of call was the act of triumph Hi everyone, this is our um, second day in Paris and um, we wanted to come see the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but um, yeah, we're in front of the Arc de Triomphe and my kids particularly wanted to see it because this is where um, that movie, uh, what's his name, John Wick part four was and part of it was acted here so my kids were really fascinated wanted to see it so we are here seeing this absolutely fabulous monument in Paris Bonjour. so my older kids were particularly tickled by it um, you know having watched the movie and then getting to see you know see it live um, it was really special for them and um, they were happy and this mom was happy so thankful for that and this is the view of the Arc de Triomphe from the Champs Elysees street it's a popular street in um, Paris um, where you find all the high-end stores and um, we made a stop for some ice cream I had the pistachio and um, chocolate I'm not particularly fond of pistachio um, but this tasted okay Later that evening, my husband and I went on a dinner cruise. Sweet dreams are made of these. Yes. Oh, I might to disagree. I travel the world and the seven seas. And want to use you. Some of them want to get used by you. Oh, <laughs> So that was your girl, just um, singing and having a good time. Um, but the food wasn't good. Honestly, the food was not good. Um, not even the dessert. Um, and it wasn't cheap, you know. Um, this dinner cruise wasn't, wasn't cheap, but honestly, the food was just not it at all. Um, you'd expect at least, you know, they would you know, bring something good to the table. It was not good. But we um, enjoyed the boat ride or the, you know, we enjoyed that, so that was good. We were looking forward to seeing the Eiffel Tower light up at night and the view did not disappoint, especially when the sparkling lights came on. It was just magical. It was just breathtaking. Um, it was really emotional for me and um, 
it was a special moment it really was and um, just thankful for the opportunity to um, see that Bonjour. how are you all doing hope your day is going fantastic um, we are about to do a tour of the um, Louvre Museum and I'm um, pretty excited about it it is hot though very very hot here and um, but beautiful day it's better than the rain from um, when we did our Eiffel Tower um, visit so we're pretty pumped So this is our tour guide and um, he gave us the history behind the Louvre Museum. As a matter of fact, this used to be a palace like donkey years ago and was converted into the museum. So yes, I highly recommend if you're going on a tour of the Louvre, get a guided tour because the, first and foremost, the, the museum is so large, like you get lost in it. So you want someone that can give you piece of information every single step of the way you know of the tour so highly recommend it so right here my older daughter wanted to see all the renaissance clothing and crown jewels and you know all that good stuff and it was closed so that was a bummer um that was something she was really looking forward to but um yeah we didn't get a chance to see it so oh, it's all good so this is my goofy crew. <laughs> Most of them are getting tired at this point. So um, they're trying to fake those smiles. But um, yeah, they tried. <laughs> I'm beyond obsessed with the architectural detail. I mean, oh my God, like I just can't even take it. <laughs> One of the art pieces I was looking forward to seeing was the Mona Lisa and um, the queue to see her was incredibly long but I got to see her face to face so I was pretty excited about that. Wow, what a stunning piece. Trying macarons from La Dure, they're world famous for their macarons, um, it's pure, pure delight. So one of the places I was looking forward to visiting here in Paris was Cedric Brulé's um, bakery shop. He is world renowned for his delectable desserts that um, he uses lots of fruits in and we realized that his um, shop was just six minutes away from where we had lunch so we just took a walk and we were really pumped and excited to see these um, wonderful work of art that um, he uh, creates and so here we are in line waiting to um, for our chance to get in and the queue was almost two hours long <laughs> English. Okay. So for today we have the two flowers here. The special that is raspberry. My guest is cherry and almond. And on the other side we have the pistachio cookie, the strawberry cookie, and the raspberry cookie. Okay. And the wait was so worth it this was by far my favorite cookie and um, we took we got one of each um, that it had each cookie that it had in the shop and we tried that at home and honestly it was really worth the wait and the price they like 20 something euro for one um, but it was really worth it thank you and we are off to our next adventure so we got up pretty early got to the airport about two hours before our flight and what do we see a huge queue i mean like from here to jericho and there are only three attendants and so 
the chances of us getting on that flight was zero absolutely zero so i was like okay i just resolved in my mind we're not getting we're not going to get on that flight and they only had one flight going to milan and then from nowhere this lady just walks up and says is anyone here going to milan and we just raise our hands like just us just all six of us going to milan she says okay come this way within 10 minutes where our luggages were checked in and we got on that flight and we are here in milan talk about a miracle a huge huge miracle so we um, checked into our hotel. This is the hotel we stayed in. And our kids had one room, we had a room. All the places we went to, we had to book two um, separate rooms. One for my husband and I, and then one for the kids. So this is our hotel room. I love the aesthetics. Um, it's just very simple and minimal, but very elegant. And so I want to give you guys a tour of It's always been my dream to come with my family to Italy and to um, experience it. I can tell my little girl she's so, so excited just skipping away. And um, it was just so much fun to be here um, together experiencing um, Italy. So yeah, we had dinner, food was so good. Oh my God, everything tasted so rich and so delicious. So yeah, that's our first night in Milan. Bonjourno. So I'm typically not a coffee person, I drink tea, but um, they say if you're in Italy, try their coffee and that's exactly what we did. The coffee really tasted very good, um, very rich and um, our hostess that was serving us breakfast every morning, uh, she'll serve us in this um, little um, mug and she said that, um, you know, that's all they usually drink, you know, just that one in the morning, um, the Italians, um, but we had quite a few cups and she was quite alarmed that we could drink that much coffee, like two, three cups of that little um, coffee every day. She was quite alarmed. And I said, yeah, in America, you know, everything is, um, you know, big. So yeah, our portion sizes are quite big. So anyway, um, so here we are um, off to the Duomo de Milan. It's actually, um, I think one of the largest cathedrals in the world. Um, it's also called the Duomo di Milan. Um, it's known for its, you know, grand Gothic architecture. Um, it has about 4,000 collection of um, statues and figures. We were actually told by our tour guide that it took nearly six centuries to complete the cathedral. And I'm like, what? That long? <laughs> but when you see it in person, it's truly a work of art. It's really, really spectacular. So when we booked our tour um, of the cathedral, we were informed that our shoulders and our knees um, had to be covered. And so we came prepared. And um, usually at the entrance to the, um, the cathedral, you usually have like vendors selling scarves. So just in case, you know, your shoulders are bare, you can just purchase one real quick and have that covered. So yeah, we came prepared. And as usual, I always recommend a tour guide if you want to go to um, want to visit the Duomo, so that way you kind of have a better understanding of the history um, behind everything and appreciate it even more. So even though the elevator had taken us up until this point, um, we still had to walk a few steps to get to the very um, top, the rooftop, um, to see to get a better view of um, the city from here so but it was particularly hot on this day and so it made the walk even more treacherous but we finally made it to the very top and the view did not disappoint at all it was really all the steps that we had walked was really worth it at the end of the day so even though it was really really hot but it was really worth it so um yeah the cathedral is so gorgeous from the rooftop it's just it's really really lovely when we made our descent there was a concert going on <laughs> So after all that walking, it was time to grab something to eat. We were starving. 
and um, we got went to this um, really lovely rooftop um, restaurant and I cannot even begin to tell you how many April spritz I have had in Italy but each and every one of them have been so good and um, food was absolutely delicious everything tasted so good and at this point um, the April spritz had taken over my eyes looking kind of glazed <laughs> it was April spritz one and Peggy zero um, but nothing a little sugar cannot um, overcome so we went to this um, ice cream shop to get some um, ice cream and some gelato and that was equally good just look at all that goodness mm, yum, yum, yum. Our next stop was the Galleria Vittorio Emanuel. I hope I'm pronouncing it correct. It's the oldest shopping gallery in Italy. It's um, right in the center of town in Milan. And it was actually named after the very first king of Italy. And here you find all the high-end stores. You've got the Louis Vuitton, the Prada, you name it. Everything is here and it is absolutely fabulous. Love, love. here in Italy. It's so beautiful. I love this place so much. I really do. Um, we were quite intrigued by these um, water fountains, drinking fountains, um, almost in every nook and cranny, and they um, have very safe water that you could just fill your water bottles with. And I thought that was really cool, very neat that the locals don't have to um, purchase water, but just, you know, fill your water bottles up. So that was really cool. Anyway, next day we were off to on a boat ride to um, go see Lake um, Como and um, Bellagio. So that was really um, very nice. Our tour guide told us this was where all the rich and famous live, like Ocean 12 was filmed in that house and um, where John Legend got married as well, not in this particular one but another home and um, Versace's house that was sold to a Russian billionaire for 30 million dollars. Wow, that saved a lot of money. Um, Judge Clooney has a home here as well and um, House of Gucci was actually filmed in um, one of these homes as well and um, yeah all really fabulous this one in particular this one right here um, is where um, Casino Royale was acted and Star Wars as well so really really fabulous look at it. right there on the hill it looks really really gorgeous wow to be rich and famous <laughs> So it was lunchtime and your girl is here again <laughs> with these April spritz. <laughs> Can't even tell which one, what number this is now that I've had so far. Um, but as usual, you know, everything tasted um, so good and um, authentic Italian dishes, you know, everything is just rich. You know, everything just tastes really, really, I don't know, just rich. So um, yeah, food is really, really good. On our tour, we made a stop here to take in this scenic view that was just majestic and picturesque, just breathtaking. And this is my crew. <laughs> They're tired and exhausted, but happy. And um, we finally grabbed some dinner um, later on in the evening. And as usual, everything was just chef's kiss. And we are off to our next destination. Can you guess where we're going? Make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when next my next video um, comes up. And um, thanks so much for watching. Cheers.